This week on Extreme Makeover Campaign Edition, Mitt Romney is faced with one of his most implausible makeovers yet, making his extreme policies seem appealing to Latino voters. I'm running for office for Pete's sake, I can't have illegals. Romney only has a few short weeks to overhaul his positions and slow his declining popularity with Latino voters. Can he cover up his belief in self-deportation with a bold new wallpaper choice? The answer is self-deportation, which is people decide that they can do better by going home because they can't find work here. Could a new support beam handle the weight of Romney's plans to cut college scholarships for millions of students? The best thing I can do for you is to tell you to shop around. Can he dress up his economic plan with a new paint job to distract from the fact that he'd raise taxes for middle class Americans? Romney's proposal would provide large tax cuts to high income households and increase the tax burdens on middle and or lower income taxpayers. <laughs> If he does something amazing with Spackle, can he patch up his promise to repeal Obamacare and deny 9 million Latinos access to comprehensive health care coverage? I will repeal Obamacare and I'll kill it dead on its first day. And on his promise to veto the DREAM Act, well, duct tape can fix everything, can it? The question is, if I were elected and Congress were to pass the DREAM Act, would I veto it? And the answer is yes. Tune in this week to Extreme Makeover Campaign Edition to see what Mitt Romney will say and learn more about how his policies hurt Latinos, not to mention seniors, young people, and middle-class families.